half cup of hydrogen peroxide here. Now like there's water. a lot more water in that yeast than don't there's supposed to be. So and right I now, I don't have a full half cup of hydrogen so, peroxide either, so we don't have as much of the chemicals as we're planning on. But right now it's in this one. But we're still going to this is our hydrogen peroxide. peroxide, and we're going to try and get it to become. <laughs> don't use it anymore. I'm also going to put and a gas. A quarter well, cup of dishwashing liquid into the bottle as well. That's going to help bubbles be more visible. <laughs> <laughs> That's almost certainly why that is. And then squirt some food coloring in the soda bottle. The dish soap already does the coloring for us. So okay, then we don't, need, then to we don't need to do the food coloring. And then set it in a sink or a large dish and finally pour the yeast solution. Now, like I said, this yeast solution has it's an accelerant. Does it say you put yeast soap in? You're supposed to use potassium iodide. Which is also an accelerant in some way. I don't understand the full chemistry of it right now. This says something on it. What does it say? <laughs> As it's dissolving, it's releasing it. Plus, it makes the yeast rise. So. And then if we add yeast, which accelerates that process. That's also from the soap. <gasps> it's rising! All the bubbles are coming out of there. All that oxygen. Inhale deeply, girls. That is all the oxygen, and now that is all water and oxygen. Actually, it does smell kind of fresh. It does smell and the green. Cool. And yeast, yeah. It looks oh, that's so, so, so good. Like <laughs> it smells like a bakery. The cleanest bread ever. <laughs> it is continuing to produce oxygen, and it is going to continue to produce oxygen until there is no H2O2 left, and it is all H2O. Does it smell different? Oxygen. It feels a little bit. Does it say to put this soap in? 